All right, what do we want? Can we talk just a little bit about this uh, Dave Gordon story? Mm -hmm. On Friday, I'm just going to make the revelation here. On Friday, Dave Gordon tried to have me arrested. <laughs> he called state police and wanted me arrested. Am I speaking the truth? Uh, Based on what I was told, yeah. Uh, Dave Gordon contacted New York State Police, who then contacted the district attorney's office and wanted me arrested for aggravated harassment. Now, I'll explain what it, it comes from, from Dave, the genius Gordon. <laughs> so on Friday morning, I had said, listen, you know, in the good old days, it, it used to be that you wouldn't say something like this because somebody would take you behind the woodshed and they'd take care of you. I might, I might have said watershed. Yeah. It was a watershed, woodshed moment. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, anyway, we, we reiterated, both you and I reiterated, we're not inciting violence. We're, you can't no, do this don't do this. Today. We're not telling you, you to do this. We're just saying. How, but you know what? It was great in the old days because there was more respect. And, and you couldn't start... Mouthing off on somebody's on somebody's wife, which was what prompted me to make the comment, uh, because you wouldn't get away with it. Things were taken care of differently back then, so he took that. Not comment. saying that's right or wrong. Just saying. Not saying it's right. I'm saying it's wrong. You can't do it. Okay. So he took that comment and said that I was trying to incite violence and wanted me arrested for aggravated. Harassment. Mm -hmm. Can't make it up. So you cannot make this stuff up. This is how far this guy is going. To, I, I mean, he just—it's torch and and burn all the way. Uh, there are no relationships left when this is done. He just wants everybody just torched. That's what he wants. Anyone that disagrees with him, he goes after them. God, from, there's a story out there right now about a uh, about a, a man, and I'm not going to get into all the details, but a man who who said, you know, just this is terrible what you're doing. Just the, the just the general thought that he is going down this road is awful when you think about it. Such dirtiness, such horrible politics. So somebody on Facebook, I think, went right out and and just said. You know, enough is enough. You got to stop with this. Really, not siding with anybody. Just basically saying, Dave Gordon, come on, this is awful. This is dirty. Gordon then went. Um, I, I'm from what I've been told, went after his wife and started making up all these stories about uh, about her and on Facebook. And uh, this is another innocent victim in this whole thing. Just it, it, and it wasn't like he was picking a fight with Gordon. It was just like he said something Gordon didn't agree with. And and is that, could you imagine, just for one moment, I, I just want to pause for you to imagine this, because if I'm talking, you won't be able to imagine. But I want you for just a moment. Close your eyes. If you're driving, don't Hello, close Robert. your eyes. <clears throat> Aggravated harassment. He tried to get me to close my eyes while I was driving. <laughs> no. Just close your eyes for a moment and pretend Dave Gordon won and become becomes the county executive. What would life be like in Oneida County? You're going to have nightmares tonight. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry to do that to you. You're going to have nightmares. Be on the edge of laughter and tears. I can tell you right <laughs> now. Yeah, I don't know if I uh, how far into this I want to get, but I, I can tell you one thing. For every hundred dollar dinner you spend, every hundred dollar dinner you take your wife out to, yeah, it's going to be twenty five cents cheaper. <laughs> it is. So he's going to peel back. Gonna, oh, he'll peel back one the uh, quarter the of one yeah. percent. Yeah, on the sales tax. Yeah. Well, listen, uh, you won't have to drive to Madison County. To Onondaga County, right, you'll be when able you want to buy clothes, to save a quarter. Um, you can put it all into your gas tank. You can drive to Pennsylvania and do your clothes shopping. You, you, you. go ahead. I see where you're going. Um, 
the, uh, the, the other update is that I'm told, and again, this is what we have been told, that paperwork was filed yesterday for a lawsuit against Dave Gordon on behalf of the uh, of the young lady that uh, he's been targeting and claiming that uh, Pacendi had this affair with. Um, and I have here, that was provided to us, the letter that was sent by Louis T. Brindisi um, on May 29th to Dave Gordon. And it goes over everything that Gordon had said. Um, and I don't want to say everything. It just it lists a number of things that were said. Mm-hmm. And the very important thing in here... Uh, I just want to read a little piece from the letter from Brindisi. You have also publicly questioned how Ms., and I don't say her name, got her position at MVHS and how it applied to Pacenti's downtown hospital initiative in a further attempt to disparage her and harm her reputation. She is, and this is important, a private citizen and not a public official. Right. And, and, and the law looks upon public officials and private citizens very, very differently. She is a private citizen and not a public official. As such, your statements concerning her are slanderous, libelous per se, and are actionable under the defamation laws of the state of New York. The false statements you have made were grossly irresponsible and without due consideration for the standards of information gathering and dissemination ordinarily followed by a responsible party. I don't think this could be said any better. It is exactly what is going on here, how irresponsible it is with by going forward with just basic rumor topics hearsay. I am hereby notifying you to immediately cease and desist any and all further unlawful defamation, whether orally or in writing, concerning this young lady. Um, and that you would retract, and it goes on, that uh, we now know you've been served in person, so we know when you received this, you have seven days from the date of this letter uh, to retract in full any and all defamatory statements, um, defamatory statements against the woman to the news agencies and or other outlets, including social media, where they were made. If you choose not to do so within the stated frame, I've been instructed to pursue any and all legal remedies that the woman may have against you for defamation, including but not limited to seeking compensatory and punitive damages. And I might add that if I am correct when it comes to the law, um, she does not have to show loss of income. She's a private citizen. She does not have to show this is destruction to her reputation. So I think uh, I, I could be wrong here. I'm no legal expert. We all know this. Um, I think Dave was okay with what he was saying. I say okay, legally okay, until his most recent press conference outside the county office building when he identified the, the moment the, to say that uh, to say that somebody had an affair without identifying the person. He he's dealing with a public figure in Pacenti, so he probably yeah. I think you're right. He, but the moment he then came out, and then they post, then they started posting pictures, yeah. which yeah. were incorrect pictures. She was holding the uh, they a niece. Say, I think. A niece. Um, uh, that's where this became a real legal issue. So, you know, maybe he knows more than everybody else. Maybe he does. But I just think, at the very least, it's uh, it's it's illegal to do. But at the very least, it is so immoral and so horrible that it would get so dirty. There's no way, no bad politics, no bad policy can justify the behavior of Dave Gordon. Now, he had a team of attorneys, a team yes. working on this case. Do you think he's he's peeled them back now and they're focusing on his defense now? Or? Uh, so instead of being the aggressor, now they're, uh, they've moved into defense mode. The, yeah. the team that yeah. he's got. This big team? Yeah, he's, the big team. He's hired a deception detector yeah. to try and see if there's any falsehood in his own statements, just okay. to be sure. Um, I enjoy a little dry sarcasm every once in a while, but uh, the fact is, um, that's just horrible. But to, uh, what were we, make that phone call to state police and say, I want Bill Keeler arrested. Gotta love it. Got a break. WIBX. Dave Gordon making a response here this morning, apparently. Yeah, he dropped I'm just re- bomb. I'm just reading the facts. He tried to have me arrested on Friday. Um, he has been served papers by uh, the Brindisi Law Firm 
on the slanderous comments and uh, what's so his reaction. Yes. Every action against Dave Gordon gets a reaction. Yeah. Yeah, He'll definitely. find something. So what is it now? So ironically enough, something that Dave's unfamiliar with in one of the um, things that he's noting on his campaign Facebook page is the um, campaign disclosure, finance disclosure mm-hmm. from Piceni. Um It's talking about Brindisi's law firm donated $250 to the campaign. Okay. That was in August of 2018. And that you were paid, or at least Keeler Strategies was paid $6,200 for the state of the county address. So the corruption in Oneida County is alive and well, according to Dave. Is that right? His full quote on the on the page, so he had two that I'm corrupt. screenshots. <laughs> no, no. Be, Bill Keeler, who uses his Keeler in the morning show to promote Anthony Pacenti while bashing our campaign, took $6,200 from Pacenti's political account for his state of the county address. What was that 6200 for? Um, we know exactly what it was for. We know exactly what it was for. Yeah. I produced the video that um, that came before this state of the county. That's what I do for a living. I don't think I've been. I, I don't think I've been keeping that secret. That was for the Pacenti campaign, or that was for Oneida County. It was for. I believe that I was paid through the campaign for. Uh, but it was the state of the county, so the campaign paid for. I don't know. It depends on what the disclosure says. I, I don't remember. All I know is that they hired me to do to do video work. I also did video work. For the airport, when they were promoting the the airport, those are the only two times that I've I've worked for Tony Pacenti. But it has nothing to do with I'm not promoting Tony Pacenti. I'm t- trying to point out the horrific behavior by Dave Gordon it has nothing to do with Tony Pacenti. It, it's how he could do this to people. It, this is not. This has more to do with my mother and father. It's how they brought me up. How could you do this to someone? That's um, what it is. It, it could be he could be doing it to Paul Mary. He could be doing it to anybody. I have the same exact fear of what it would be like if Dave Gordon were when he went in the county the county clerk's race. I never did any work for for Sandy DePerno, but I didn't support Dave Gordon. I thought it was horrible, horrible the way he did. But at least he was he was more on issues during that. At least he was talking about I'm going to make the DMV better. <laughs> which was a, kind of laughable in itself, but still, at least he was he was on an issue. This is just dirtiness. This is filthy politics that that doesn't have any. There's no room for it. So you've been critical. Have, have you been? Yeah, uh, I just uh, making money are, from Pasetti. No, yeah, I, uh, I just hope that uh, I don't know who buys this crap that he's selling. I just hope it's there's no uh, there's not nothing nefarious. People. About someone hiring me to produce, uh, I, 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 I try to be as honest as I can. When someone comes on, um, we always do the full disclosure. I'm doing work for this. They've hired me to produce commercials. You, you put me in a direction. And, you know, there are some people that I wouldn't work for, and I'll be honest with you. I would never work for, for Dave, Dave Gordon. And, and I is- have before, though. I, I will tell you, I produced a commercial for Dave Gordon Years ago, when he and I think he paid me five hundred dollars to produce a commercial for, uh, class president. Wait a minute. When, uh, yeah. Oh, and actually, let's talk about that. Dave Gordon has hired me. Wait a minute. You didn't disclose that when he was on the air. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah. He. Uh, I actually. That's news he, to me. It, I didn't know that. It was when he. I'll try to find the commercial. Did you? It do was the when Congress he was. Video? It was when he was running for. Um, for it was. I might have been his first time running. He was running against Dave Townsend. And he came to me and wanted me to produce a, a commercial. So I did. And it didn't mean that I supported him. It meant that um, I supported the process by which I was able to cash that check. And it did clear. <laughs> I support that. It's capitalism. Yeah, baby. And that's so wait a minute, just what wait it is. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Does <laughs> that mean in. Mike Hennessy and Anthony Vicente are going to? Object to coming on this show now because you've done work for Dave Gordon. <laughs> I have done work for him. For God's sakes, I worked three campaigns for Claudia Tenney. Kathy in Rome right now. Good morning, Kathy. How are you? I was shocked when I heard you say you almost got arrested. Well, oh, I won't wow. say that I, I won't a... say that I almost got arrested, but he tried to have me arrested. Well, I tell you, yeah, I I see him. 
I'll give him a piece of my mind. We would miss you, Bill. Well, thank you, Kathy. I mean, that means a lot to me. Thank you. Speak for yourself. We Kathy. could broadcast from prison. <laughs> <laughs> I think they yes, might allow it. You definitely. Uh, you better not come to my front door. All right, Kathy. Thank you very much. Thank Kathy, you. with Bye-bye. a warning out okay. there. Uh, let's see what I can end on here. Anything else further you guys want to go on this, uh, uh the Gordon No, thing? but I, but, uh, yeah, again, just also he's saying the Brindisi Law Firm is representing Pacenti's ex-staffer that he had extramarital affairs with, with, uh, a donated $250. Well, he's just not, st- I mean, he's not, st- and he won't stop. Um, but when you don't have anything, I guess, what do you worry about a lawsuit if, uh, if, if, if they can't, what is the is it blood from a stone? Is that what the can't can't, can't draw blood from a stone? Yeah, you know, I guess. What does it matter? 